So we're walking along here, we're going to sample a bit and uh, see if we can find anything nice up here. This rock is all oxidized here, looks like a bunch just fell down here. We were out here a while ago and uh, chipped off some iron pyrite right there from uh, the bedrock. This is looking like it's a porphyritic rock. And what we want to do is just uh, see if we can find any notable mineralization in any of these samples. You can see the bedrock is exposed here and different kinds of bedrock. Looks like you got a lot of epinotization right in here. And I can definitely actually see you have iron pyrite. So, looks like you have a nice oxidized zone in the middle of the road. So maybe there might be some good samples there. It looks like this is about 15 meters wide where it's oxidized. So yeah, I can definitely see some nice iron pyrite, maybe even 20 meters wide. Let's see what we can find. So, like I said, I could see some pyrite and could I ever. This was the first sample I pulled out of the road, broken in half. You can see stringers of iron pyrite. Looks like a scarified rock with uh, some silicus rock in there. You got some epidote. Pretty extensive pyrotization though. Here you got uh, looks like stringers of calcopyrite and pyrite mixed. Some nice looking mineral. Another couple broken up samples we pulled out of the road. Most of what we're seeing is pyrite, but uh, we are seeing the occasional stringer of calco, which would indicate we have some copper sulfides and who knows what else in these. Another sample here, pyrite and quartz. Interesting banding here. You got uh, lots of silicus rock. You got lots of epidotization, and you have minor pyrite throughout the whole thing. This was a chip off of this big honker here. Anyway, this area has some significant mineralization for such a small area 20 meters wide and uh, no doubt you have mineralization coming from this outcrop somewhere up here too it's a little dusty up there but you can see where it's fallen out 
there's some severe oxidization like this and most likely there'll be more mineral up there. This right here, you can see is a quartz vein. There's your epidote. I'm brought to you part by the sample of the day. Not really, we found better today. But another good sample.